What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Today, we're going to be talking about the Black History Month celebration. You obviously, at this point, uh, would have known that there were going to be three players. EA Sports let us know about it. Um, you know, unfortunately, the way that it was drawn out, it kind of looked like it was staggered in the wrong ways. Um, but eventually, they got it done. Um, three players, okay, Fritz Pollard, Doug Williams, Ozzie Newsome, you pretty much play very, very relatively simple challenges. And the reason that I'm pointing that out is because a lot of you guys that grind with me, um, you know, pretty much it's like, it's grind, we, we, it's a lot of hybrids here. Like we'll buy bundles for cards that we really want, but for the most part, we stay in grind mode, right? So with that being the case, um, the reason that I point that out that it's relatively, like it's efficient. It wasn't too time consuming. It, it, you know, it was to the point, they had little special objectives that you had to do. You got them done, you know, the little bonus stuff like that. If you, if, if EA Sports focused on stuff like this and gave, you know, decent rewards, I'm pretty sure that most of the community, you know, when I say most, you know, obviously there's gonna always be someone that has a problem with it, but most of the community appreciates this. I pointed this out before, I got a lot of W's about that Escape from Jenkinstein. That whole series and promo of doing that with the most feared was actually really well thought out and well executed because there wasn't like, oh my God, a full game here, full. It was just the progress. And pretty much that's the efficiency of what we try to look for. It's not that we're saying, you know, they shouldn't have full games at any time, maybe earlier in the year where it's harder to get cards, but probably not. You know what it is? No, they probably shouldn't do it like that. They should go to the way that they've had it, um, you know, with several different things. You do the little slight objectives and you have basic stuff. Throw for whatever amount of yards, you know, get it more efficient like that. I think with those type of things, we would have a lot more people enjoying the challenges and it wouldn't be as much rage. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I pointed it out and I asked you guys to leave a W if you guys thought uh, that, you know, Escape from Jake and Stein was a W. You guys were very, very honest with it. You liked it. I'm not forcing you guys to like this stuff. If it's ridiculous, I'm going to tell you that it's ridiculous. Um, you know, those new all-rookie challenges, absolutely insane. It's insane that they did that. I don't even, dude, I don't know how that got approved. Like, seriously, I don't know how it got approved, but I'm staying far away from those challenges. Even with the grind from Mutt Level 90, it, it just disgusts me. So with these right here, when you play through all of them, you're going to pretty much get yourself set up to get that fantasy pack uh, to get um, any of the 95 overalls um, for free, right? You're going to just pick any one of them. We're going to go over all of that now. We're going to talk about some of the things that could possibly benefit your team and which one of them makes the most sense. Now, earlier today, uh, people were getting locked out of Mutt uh, from completing the challenges with Ozzy Newsome. I don't know if you guys noticed, there was kind of a problem because the quarterback was Ozzie Newsom, and he's a tight end. Um, so that probably had something to do with it. I'm not sure if that was a thing, but then when they tweeted out that they fixed it, all of a sudden you had your actual quarterback there instead of Ozzie Newsom. I'm thinking that that might have been something that was going on with it, which is why I locked everybody out of Mutt. But that's all done for now. What we're going to focus on right now is this. We're going to pretty much go ahead and take a look at the cards, the fantasy pack that you guys should have received, and then we'll pretty much go from there. All right? Now... I'm not in a rush to pick any of these players right now simply because, um, you know, Fritz Pollard, Doug Williams, Ozzie Newsome, I'm going to give you their pros and cons, but you can't, unless you have a theme team with these players, they're not going to really be of major benefit, all right? So it comes equipped with the team already established on it, so I'm not sure if you can change it because there's no power up, right? So you just have to take it from what it is. This is the actual pack right here. You know, EA is like, look, I love this animation though. That's pretty nice. That's good stuff right there. I like that. Um, I want to see it again. Let me see it again real quick. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what that smoke is, but whatever, dude. What, whatever EA is doing, I kind of like it. Okay. All right, good. Good stuff, EA. Nice stuff. All right, so look, pretty much you got a Brown player, a Washington football team player, and a Bears player. More than likely, right, the most benefit because Brown's theme teams, they're not really... Um, you don't really see a lot of them, all right? Watching the football team, you see a lot of these guys. So it depends on how you want to rock uh, with that. Um, you could get away with some things with that, you know, having a quarterback with those boosts. But again, you know, he's a field general, hot rock master, all that stuff. Maybe I think he should get gunslinger based on his numbers. So I think he would be suitable. And then you have the Bears. So it all depends on what you're actually looking for. So now let's, let's take a look at how good the cards can actually be, just to kind of give you a heads up. If you have a Browns theme team, right, you're looking at 98 speed, 98 acceleration, you know, probably 98 agility, all that good stuff. He's 5'9", right? So listen, let me just go ahead and explain something to you. I'm glad that you guys brought this to my attention. If you are shorter than 5'11", well, even with 5'11", you can't spin. If, you, if you're under, let's just say you're under six foot, 
any running back that's under six foot, they don't get good spin animations with the exception of, how tall is McCaffrey? Because Christian McCaffrey can spin. Let me go check that out before I say that because I just realized that one of you guys posted uh, on the, you know in the comment section like, yo, Jemaya, McCaffrey can spin. And I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever, dude. I ain't gonna get no McCaffrey. Then I played somebody that actually had a Panthers theme team and McCaffrey was spinning my eye sockets out. But I don't think that he's that tall. So that might be an exception to the rule. Um, let's go ahead and see McCaffrey, right? Let's see what's going on with that. Let, let's see. I, I, I just want to see how tall he is. L let's see what's going on here. So he's exactly 5'11". But the problem is, isn't Alvin Kamara also 5'11 and he can't spin? Let, let's, let's, let's look at that real quick. Because he's... I think it was 5'11". They have to be at least 5'11". But I didn't think it worked out because... Isn't Alvin Kamara also 5'11"? And he can't spin for... Yo, that dude right there, he's a really good running back, but he can't spin. And you know you gotta have that spin action going. It just does something to the yo, to the body, you know what I'm saying? See, oh! That's why. He's 5'10". 5'11 might be it, guys. You guys are right. You guys might... Yo, you guys are onto something. So 5'11 is the height. That makes sense. So it doesn't matter what their spin is. If they're under 5'11", they can't spin. I don't know who came up with that, but it's absolutely ridiculous. But but it's true. And you guys are the ones that explain that to me. Um, so that's what I'm saying, bro. You guys are so good to me all the time, doc. You guys, that's why I'm like, sometimes I'm like, all right, this guy right here, it's a few of you guys, but I'm like, yo, this guy sucks at Madden. But for the most part, you know, when a lot of you guys come in with the same information, it's pretty much something that I have to take a look at and then I'll investigate myself and see what's going on. So that's pretty much where it's at. So getting back to Fritz Pollard. Yeah, he has good speed on the Bears theme team, all that good stuff. He can't spin. Why is spin so important? When you have a bunch of players like ganging up on one side and you're able to complete a full spin, it's usually six points, no matter where you are on the field. It's usually six. That's why it's important. You can spin three, four players if they just all run into the same angle and be gone. When you cannot spin and you have to use jukes, jukes, unfortunately, that's more of a one-on-one -on -one thing where you can break the tackle and then you have the stop and go. But like I said, for a lot of you guys that can't really get it down with the stop and go, um, you know, it doesn't really make any sense to ex you know try to explain it. It's either you got stick or you don't. Uh, it's different ways to do it. If you're a stop and go player, you know, this guy might be good. For me, I can do the stop and go. I do it all the time. Um, but I love the spin move because when you get them all going in one direction and you spin, it's usually six points. So a Bears player, you're looking at a lot of fast 98, 98, you know, 98 speed, 98 excel. It can work out for a Bears player. For any theme team, 96 speed just ain't cutting it. Unless you're Reggie Bush and you just on my 49 the theme team chilling. It ain't cutting it. And Reggie Bush spins like a top. Like that dude, that dude right there, he's going for six, even with that 96 speed. Let's take a look at Doug Williams. All right, 95 overall. Let's see what's going on with this guy. 87 speed, throw power 95. He definitely gets Gunslinger, right? Okay, he should have everything else that he needs. So Gunslinger um, and Hot Rod Master, he should be able to get. Uh, based on what I'm looking at right now, he has everything that you should have with the 95. If you have a Washington football team, theme team, and you're using another quarterback, you could try him out. It's a chance that at least one of these cards are going to be good. Do I believe that all of them will be? No. But there's a chance that at least one of them has to be decent. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's him. I don't know. But he has decent numbers. He would go to a 91 speed on a full theme team, 99 throw power, decent short, decent mid. He has decent deep. He has all the right numbers to deliver the ball right. Is he right for you? You would have to decide that yourself. Because remember, you only get to pick one of the three. And I don't think they have an exchange set where you can kind of try one and then trade them in. I don't think they even thought it out like that. I don't know. I don't think that it's there, though, because you only get to pick one. It would be cool if you could try them out with the 95 overall and see what it is and then get rid of them if you didn't like it. But I haven't seen any exchange sets. I'll check after this one. Now, Ozzie Newsome, right? Obviously, Browns. It's a Browns theme team. Um, it's not a lot of you guys. If you did have one, he would be a 94 speed. All right? He's a stronger spec catch type guy. So he probably can moss dudes into another, like a whole nother dimension. But even without that, 92 speed and that run block is not something to really scoff at. Also his medium route is at 95. So you could actually put this guy on crossers and let him do whatever he wants. He could work in the system where you run two tight ends. Just to kind of point that out, let me just let you guys look at George Kittle, okay? You see that medium route differential? Short route, whatever. But you see that medium route? See what's going on? The run block is pretty good. Look at that spec catch, catching traffic. 
catching, whatever. Strength, he's strong, speed. So look, this guy, George Kittle, is 92 speed right now. All right? So, and that's with him with the plus four of a, of a Niner theme team. Ozzie Newsome, he actually runs around and looks like he has, like, you know, some kind of oomph to him. We could probably put him in the game and put some work in. Don't, don't really, like, more than likely, I think I might go with him. The problem is, you, you know, like, because I, I don't really need the quarterback. I might go with Ozzie Newsome. Because I can just add him in in those run sets and let him block out of his mind. And then if you act stupid, I got Hot Route Master. We put him on a route, on, on a crosser. He's going to run that crosser like a maniac. Similar to the way that um, Jermichael Finley was earlier in the year. Like, he's going to run that route crazy. So this might do something for us. More than likely, I may pick Ozzie Newsom. I need you guys to kind of give me some feedback on it, though, before I pick it. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Um, you know, which way should I go with this? I'm thinking Ozzie out of the three. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. You know, what do you think, are, you know, is the best card that's available uh, in this set? Let me know. We'll go ahead and pick it. Once you guys let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it on the Twitch stream and then we'll probably figure it out together. But that's pretty much everything that's there. Pick your player. It's a free 95. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, the content that's going on right now. Uh, it should be a lot more coming. Uh, like I said, stay away from those all rookie challenges no matter what. Just leave it alone. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.